Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first, try it on your own. All right. So they tell us which expression is, they ask us, excuse me, which expression is not equivalent to 6 to the 3rd divided by 6 to the 6th. So I want to underline the word not because I often forget uh, the goal of the problem. We are trying to figure out, of course, what this equals and which of these choices don't equal that. So there are lots of exponents here that we could use, but I'm also going to just write this out for a moment. We have 6 to the 3rd. That means 6 times itself, and then multiply it again. So it's essentially saying to multiply 3 6's. And we're dividing that by the product right, of 6 6's. Right? Okay, so I've written it out. And what I notice is this group of 6's right here will essentially cancel each other out. Right, six times six times six, that's two hundred and sixteen. Okay, so if I think of two hundred and sixteen, and then I'm gonna divide it by the product of two sixteen times another two hundred and sixteen, but I'll leave it as six to the third for now. The two hundred and sixteen divided by itself is just one, and we have one over six to the third. So this equals one over six to the third, but we don't want what it's equal to, we want what it's not equal to. Now if you're not, if you're not, if this part right here is throwing you off a little bit, uh, let's just talk about this with smaller numbers for a moment because sometimes math concepts with bigger numbers are difficult, but with smaller numbers might be more digestible. Let's say you have the number 2 and you're dividing it by 2 times 2. Okay? So in this situation right here, what, what would we do with the order of operations? Well you might multiply the two twos on the bottom, which is 4, and then you saw the 2 in the numerator, 2 divided by 4, that's the same as 1 half. So if we think about our, our strategy up here, it also applies. Take 2, and you divide it by two groups of 2. Well, these 2's right here, if you divide them by each other, that's just 1, right? They cancel out, just like up here. It's just 1. And what's left is 1 half, which is what we just had right here. And this always works with multiplication. Right? If you're multiplying in a fraction, you can cross out or divide common factors. And there's a lot more to understanding why that works, but I think it's important to get a grasp on it or to start to think about how it helps us. Now, once we have that in grasp, we can look at our other situations here. 1 divided by 216, that is the same as what we have here because 6 to the 3rd is 216. And the two choices left, well, I know it has to be A now because 1 divided by 6 squared is 1 over 36. And... 1 over 36 can't be the same thing as 1 over 216, so that can't be the answer. But just to verify that b also equals it, right, 6 to the negative third, that means 1 divided by 6 to the third. It literally means that, right? Uh, the negative sign and exponent refers to division. You just always start with 1. So if you have 6 to the negative third, we start with 1, and then we divide it by 6 to the positive third or three sixes. This is a definition, right? So that, that also equals one over six to the third, and the answer is choice A. All right, I hope this helped.